Hi, this is Jay Cho. Uh, I want to give you, uh, now that we've done intake, and I thank you for committing your file to me, and it, it means a lot to me that you, tr you know, put your trust in me to help you, and I'll, I'll do my best to actually get you the most uh, result, the best result, you get the most therapy, so you get better, as well as if I can, uh, I will try to get you a reasonable settlement. Now, there are usually three questions that people have right after the intake. You know, first question is, um, how to choose a clinic, Where, which clinic should I go? Now, if you already have a clinic, definitely, by all means, there, go there. Uh, I usually recommend try to pick the ones that's nearby your house because driving, you probably have an anxiety if you had an MBA, if you had a slip and fall, you probably have a issue with walking around. So it's better to just choose close by and then it, the distance is not an issue, then you really have to look at like, what kind of modality of treatment. Modality means what, can, what types of treatment is good for you. Chiropractic, physiotherapy, massage, acupuncture, herbal medicine. These are some of the things you could do. Uh, now, one thing that I want to stress is uh, the second, it actually leads into the second question. What kind of treatments can I get? Now, there's a two types of, two categories of treatment that I see uh, that insurance company prefer. First is direct treatment. So chiropractic physiotherapy, they think that it's a direct and they usually approve up to 70% of 3,500. Uh, to be chiropractic and physio. Now massage and acupuncture, they think that it's indirect, meaning it's not helpful, but it's actually relief, helpful to relieve your pain. So it's not very therapeutic, but it actually helps you to relieve pain so that you could, you could do more in physiotherapy and chiropractic to, uh, to get better. So they don't try to give you 100% in acupuncture and uh, chiropractic, but they rather give you up to about 30, 20 to 30 percent. So it's important that you understand that framework. You just can't have acupuncture for 3,500 or massage for 3,500. Now, third question that I get is, uh, how can I can I get treatment in two different clinics? So can I get acupuncture in one clinic, physiotherapy in another, massage in another? That's not possible. So when they treat, submit a treatment plan, something called OCF-18 that you might have signed already, they want you to get treatment at one clinic at a time. I repeat, one clinic at a time. So you could do 2200, first 2200 at one clinic and then 1300 at another clinic. That's up to you. Uh, but you can't simultaneously visit two different clinics and uh, expect the insurance company to pay you. So a lot of people suddenly uh, bring me receipts and invoices saying that, oh, I got some acupuncture at this clinic. Can I get this paid? And the insurance company will say no. So you might have to wait until you get a settlement. Now, there's no guarantee that there's a settlement, so you might have to just incur out-of-pocket expenses. You may not be able to get this money paid. So do talk to us before you actually try to uh, get this money reimbursed. Okay? Thank you. Thanks so much for uh, watching this video. It means a lot that you spend your valuable time watching our video. So please don't forget to click on subscription button or subscribe button or like button. It does show us that what we do to empower you, to give you legal information, it's actually uh, helpful for you. And also this one video could actually save you a lot of grievance and time and money. So hopefully if you turn on the notification, you'll get other videos, may not be relevant, but if you just know what it is, your legal right at the landlord tenancy, your legal right at small claims, what to do after MBA, you know, what to do when you get fired uh, from your work, it definitely, definitely will help you in the future. Thanks again. Thank you so much for putting your trust in our firm. It means a lot to us and I hope to uh, see you soon. Thank you. Bye.